Ground teams, this is Control. Boss wants an update on the theater district. Over. Control. Checkpoint under assault. It's the demons. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. He's not too excited. you, MJ. Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Whose bright idea was it to put a circuit board in a fence? Out of the way, fella. What was that? Gotta move. Now. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. Imagining things. Need to draw him away from the stairs. What's that? Guess it was nothing. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. I should get a photo of this. Got it. Time to move. Get to that tent. <clears throat> Standish is secure, ma'am. Lockout comms as well. I do not want leaks to press about Michael's or Devil's breath. On it. She's nervous. Standish must know something about Dr. Michaels.
think we got company. Stand by, Control. I heard something. Stay alert. I think we got company. Distract him for long. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as possible. Stay alert. I think we got company. Five by five control. Area clear. Stay alert. I think we got company. Standing down control. Huh? False Who's alarm. there? about to move. Should use it as cover. about to move. Should use it as cover. Go, go, go. <sighs> Made it. Bravo and Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. Add two more units. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. 
Come on, come on. Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. <laughs> he wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the hell? He's not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Get the back up over here. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. You knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol.
That's Miles' mom. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Drill Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job at the feast shelter. Glad to. And please, call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you, he has reservations. I finally gave him a choice. This is no more therapy. He just hates to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Ed May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. need a vacation or something. Dudes are way too high strung. I was here. Demons were gonna overwhelm those stable agents. Sorry, guys. Kinda gotta see something, do something code. Peter, I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay.
Nice. Okay, what next? It looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter.
I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Ah, uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. Man. I remember the first day I interviewed here. I showed up with stains on my shirt, direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation, and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful... An intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, 
No one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more... Secure cell? Why wasn't he in it? All units, civilians are trapped inside the vehicle following a severe collision. What are you doing here? We got a fighter. You just made your last mistake, Hong. What the? Does it seriously take this many guys to rob a teenager? Spider-Man. You're the amazing Spider-Man. You're the spectacular Spider-Man. And a few other choice adjectives Jameson uses. Look, that was really brave. But next time, leave the fighting to the pros. Okay? Okay, but what if there aren't any around? Well, you can't just go swinging at someone twice your size. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight guys stronger than me all the time. But when I do it, I have... Oh, like that time you fought Rhino on the Brooklyn Bridge? That was so awesome. Perfect example. <laughs> If the other guy's bigger, you gotta be quicker. Okay? Okay, but that's it's easy for you to say. I, sorry, I just can't do what you do. All right, put him up. Seriously? Yeah, come on. First thing, don't let the adrenaline get to you. Breathe slow, breathe deep, relax. Hip square to your opponent. Let them make the first move. Now use your feet, and when they go off balance, look for an opening. Boom. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Not only this time, just let me have it. Right on the jock. Okay? I can... <clears throat> oh, sh... S sorry No, no. No. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you keep that up, and uh, you'll be fine. All right. Lesson's over. Gotta go. Hey, uh... Thanks. You know... Anytime. Just punch Spider Man. Um, so, uh, I can clean your windshield if you. Shelter should be just ahead. Yo, Miles, what's up? Bro, you're not gonna believe this. I just met Spider Man. What? That's crazy. Hey, did you show him our hacking app? Oh, man. I totally forgot. Oh, you suck. He totally would have bought it off you, and then he'd be, like, famous. Yeah, I'll show him next time. I, I gotta go. I promised my mom I wouldn't be late. Ah, uh, cool. Later. Farmer's market. I can cut through there. the 
Man, hope they're okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Sable systems are unsecure. Maybe I'll send an anonymous tip. Okay. Okay, time to move. Under the gate on the left, or over the scaffolding to the right. You're fine. We have footage. Oh, man. I just gotta go home. I have the okay. Arrest the Stay calm. I gotta distract him. No, I'm not resisting. You right. see anything? Damn. There's a lot of broken glass back here. Okay, my faithful listeners, I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit that's assisting police with the search for suspects in the city hall. I've got Ken on line three with some thoughts. Whoa! Uh, first of all, I just want to say... I've been getting a lot of calls about this Sable International outfit that's assisting police with the search for suspects in the city hall block. I've got Ken on line three with some thoughts. Ken, you're on with J. Jonah James. F first of all, I just want to say it's an honor to be on your show. Thank you, Ken. You just earned yourself a copy of my new book, J. Jonah Jameson, Always Right, Never Wrong. Uh, I already have one. Can I get a t-shirt or something instead? No. Now get to your point. So I got this buddy on the force who says that these Sable people don't report to police or nothing. He says they report directly to the mayor. Is that true? Great question. Let's send this guy to... Whoa! <gasps> Sweep. We'll report status. Better check it out. Come on. Ignore me. I'm invisible. Oh, they're not messing around. Okay, I'm in the clear. Phew, that was intense. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Did you make it to the thief's shelter okay? Uh, yeah, almost there. Miles, you don't have to work at that shelter, you know. You said I did. No, I gave you a choice. Yeah, and I chose this over more therapy. I mean, it was helpful. The guy said everyone grieves in their own way. This is mine. Okay. Sorry. Mom. Yeah? Just because I don't want to talk about it doesn't mean I don't love you. Oh, honey. I love you so much. We'll get through this. Okay? I gotta go. 
I'll call you on my way home. Hey, hey, Miles. Pete. Hey, um, sorry I'm late, man. Oh, no, no, I'm just glad you're here. All right, so, um, what can I do to help? Why don't you start just by, uh, getting comfortable with the place. Uh, meet a few people. You know what? Everybody loves coffee. Coffee? All right. And I'll be back in a little while to check on you. Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about Mr. Hodges. He doesn't bite. Much. You sure? Coffee? Thanks. Need help? Not unless you know what the hell a quark is. It's a subatomic particle. You know, the building block of protons, neutrons, hadrons? Subatomic? It fits. Good one, kid. Piece of junk. Oh, hell. Damn hunk of junk. Uh, you mind if I take a look? Huh? Oh, we have a couple of CRTs at school. I know how to fix these CR when they're... CR what, what? No, no, you just gotta smack it. Up the time. Get it going. Or, could be a loose coax cable. <laughs> all right, all right. Be my guest, huh, mister? Smarty pants. Hey, please, go ahead. Tributes continue to pour in for Officer Jefferson Davis, the hero killed in the City Hall bombing, as reports emerge that he used his own body to shield others in his last moments of life. Hey, hey new kid. I'm empty wife, here. Rio and son Miles, as well as brother Aaron. In addition to the hero. Man didn't do nothing heroic except get himself blown up. His fellow officer <laughs> Hey, Ernie, I see you've met Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. You may have heard of his father, Jefferson Davis. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer, don't you think? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, listen, Cat, I'm, I'm... Sorry about your dad. Come on, Miles. See if Aunt May needs a hand in the kitchen. Hey, May, I gotta take off, but, uh, brought some help for you. Hi, Miles. Nice to see you. Well, grab an apron, wash your hands, and I'll show you around. Hey, hey Peter. Um, thanks for that back there. Of course. Almost noon. Sable should be moving Dr. Michaels. Better get to the Bowery and locate him. I'm afraid our computers are a bit outdated. Oh, that's cool. I might be able to improve their performance for you. Really? Way to have the kids back. 